Hi there Year 9s, my name is Miss Adjiman and I'm the Beauty Therapy Teacher and I'm here to tell you about the exciting Level 2 Beauty Therapy course that we offer at Wangels. So the Level 2 Extended Certificate in Hair and Beauty Skills is ideal for anyone interested in a career in beauty therapy, makeup or hairdressing. So the specific course that we do is focused on beauty therapy but it offers you um, progression into any of the areas within the hair, beauty and makeup industry. So as well as teaching you different treatments, different beauty treatments, and uh, teaching you about the hair and beauty industry, it's also preparing you for your next steps. So whether you want to go on and do further training, you want to go to college, you want to do an apprenticeship in hair, beauty or makeup, or you want to do some work experience, or maybe just even get a part-time job in a salon. So this course is your time to shine. It's your time to get really creative and show people what you can do. The course is 100% practical and coursework. So there's no exam. It's made up of coursework, photographic evidence and practical observations. You're graded a pass, a merit or a distinction based on the um, evidence that you provide. So this course is perfect if you're somebody that likes to be more hands on and you like to do more creative tasks um, rather than doing lots of exams or lots of written assignments. As part of the course, you're going to learn a range of beauty treatments to a professional standard. So manicure, nail art, skin care, massage techniques, eyebrow shaping, and a really great unit that we do at the end, which is called Total Look, which is about tying your hair, your makeup and your nails all together um, and creating an overall look. As well as learning the practical treatments, it's also really important to understand the business side of hair and beauty. Um, so things like client care, customer service skills, understanding about health and safety, which is so important, but even more so important with what's going on. The relevant hair and beauty products and what they do. And then things that will help you promote yourself and be able to get yourself a job or be able to um, sort of push yourself forward in the industry. So you're learning both sides, the practical and the business side. After the qualification, there's so many things that you could do. So after you finish this qualification in school, you might go on and do some further training, maybe in a sixth form college, a training college, or um, go along to your local college uh, and do hairdressing or beauty there. And we have a lot of students from Wangels that go on to Reading College and do hairdressing or beauty. You could be more specialist and want to do something that's more focused on makeup or nails or massage. Um, and so there are specialist courses that you can go on and do after doing this course, which is like an entry into all of those other courses. You might want to do an apprenticeship where you're learning on the job. So you might want to do a hairdressing apprenticeship or a beauty therapy apprenticeship where you work in a salon and you're learning alongside um, trained professionals. And then you're also maybe having day release and going to college um, and doing the two mixed together. If you wanted to go on and do even further training, there are things that you could do at university level. So you could look at spa management, you could branch out into other areas, still in the hair and beauty um, and makeup field, but you might look at things to do with fashion or things to do with marketing and journalism or things more on the management side. And in terms of jobs, there are so many jobs that you could do. Most people think that a hairdresser and a beautician just works in a salon, but there are so many other things. You could be a makeup artist in the fashion industry, for celebrities, for television, film, media. You could be traveling around the world on, on cruise ships or in beauty spas in luxurious hotels. 
You could be working for airlines who have their VIP suites where they have beauty salons and, and hair, hair salons. You could go into spas and work in spas or spa management. You could be doing the special effects makeup on your favorite um, TV program or your favorite film. You could be working behind a counter. So for example, Mac and selling products and or doing makeup makeovers on people that come into the store. Possibly you want to have your own business and you want to be a mobile beauty therapist. That's how I started out. I had a mobile, a mobile business and then I had my own beauty salon and then I moved into teaching. So you might want to go down that route. You could be a beauty blogger, a beauty journalist. You could be a trainer. There are so many things that you can do within the industry. And these are the things that I want to, you know, open your eyes to all of the all of the opportunities out there for you. Just to say also that this time, you know, with COVID going on, um, as much as salons are closed at the moment, that's not going to be forever. They will definitely be um, back open. And it's an industry. It's a job that will never, ever die. I always say that, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on. People want to get their nails done, their makeup, their hair. So beauty is an industry that is never going to die. So it's a fantastic um, industry to go into. It's a fantastic career to follow. And as I've shown just on these last couple of slides, there are so many opportunities out there for people. So we want to get you feeling the part. So every student that joins the beauty course will get their own uniform and you will get your beauty kit with your products. You're going to use um, the products to practice on each other, to learn the treatments. And then once you're confident, the way that you're assessed is actually carrying out those treatments on clients to industry standards. So please don't be scared. You're going to get lots and lots of practice before you go out to your clients. But it's such an amazing feeling and my my students they just absolutely love doing the practical treatments um, on the clients because it's a real way for you to showcase what you've learned and showcase your skills so it really is your time to get really creative you're going to be think, doing things like nail art manicures makeup facials eyebrow shaping so many different treatments that are nice and hands-on really practical and really, really fun to do. So here is an example of some nail art wheels that some students created. So you can see the fantastic designs that they've done, all of them really individual. Um, and these are the kind of things that you're going to produce. So it's really great that you're going to have a portfolio of fantastic treatments, that you're able to do and skills that you've learned that you can take forward onto your um, next steps, whether that's going, as I said, into um, a new another course or an apprenticeship or a job, or they're just things, great skills for you to have yourself so that you can practice these things on yourself and do these things on yourself or do them for other people. So it's a really fantastic course. I'm really looking forward to delivering it again at Wangels and I look forward to meeting um, as many as you as possible that would love to join the course. So thank you for your time and if you have any questions, please do let me know.